<laughs> what to do, everybody? This is your boy, Paul, the fifth. fifth. And today is the last day of 2020. We made it. We did it. We're here. Who's excited about new things to come? A new year. I'm sure you are as well. Just like I'm sure for everybody, this year has been incredibly tough. And this video is about my reflections on 2020. Every year, about mid-December, I like to sit down, jot down some New Year's resolutions and how I can improve myself. Five goals that I set for this year. The first being I wanted to improve upon my walk in faith with the Lord. I wanted my family and friends to be healthy, happy, and successful. I wanted to get a better job. I wanted to save up to purchase a home. And the fifth thing, there was a girl. And ladies, I said, there was. That's over with and done. There's nothing here. Some of those things did take place and some didn't. The year started off really strong. My group that I'm a part of, my music group called Euphony, we had an incredible photo shoot with Big Tez and his brother, Tony Ohms. And that was a great time. Fast forward a little bit to February. My grandmother died from Alzheimer's right before Valentine's Day. So very sour and sweet. I'm still getting through that. Then fast forward into March, the insurance company that I work for we transitioned from our building to work at home. That was a major challenge, daily figuring out and dealing with IT issues. I learned, I grew, I've become more efficient with that. And then from April until about September or October, I pretty much work six days a week, tons and tons of OT. In March, I did start doing things here on my YouTube page. I just started doing like five or six little TikTok, silly, just goofy stuff that I thought was funny. I will put those videos in a playlist for you to check out. I did some things for a podcast and those will be in a playlist for you to check out as well. So in March, I started a series called Connections. It's about who do I know in the music industry that knows somebody else that might know somebody else. This guy might know someone over here and his girlfriend is an exec at BMG. And then her cousin, he runs RCA. And then her son's girlfriend's uncle is somebody over at this place. And then that person knows this guy and he's the TM for the Toby Mac Hits Deep Tour, which I was gonna get to be a part of. And then the next thing you know, COVID hits and... Everything falls apart. And from March until June, I didn't get out of my apartment much. I'd go to the grocery store about once a month I have a very compromised immune system. I've had bronchitis about five times in my adult life. I'm currently going through some allergy testing to see if I have any sort of asthma. For me, it was very important to kind of isolate myself from the world just to protect my immune system. While many people contracted COVID and aren't with us anymore, the one thing I am thankful for is my health. I'm thankful that I'm still here. I'm thankful for you. I'm sure you may have dealt with many hardships as well, but you're watching this, I'm making this for you. We're all here together and there's many great things for the new year to look forward to. As I mentioned just a moment ago, I really didn't leave my apartment very much. I did make a really nice trip in August to go visit my folks back in Indiana and then recently for my niece's birthday and Thanksgiving and then for my birthday and then recently for Christmas. 
So that was really nice to get to go home and visit with them at some of the most special times of the year. And when I came back on Christmas, you may have heard that some crazy person decided to put a bomb in his RV and they blew up like an entire radius and a big amount of the downtown area. So we're dealing with that. And it was the craziest thing. Right before I left, I got hit by a drunk driver and this guy damaged the back end of my van and my bumper's falling off and over the wheel well, it's just like flapping there. And I can't drive over like 35 or 40 miles an hour without that thing flopping in the wind. So I had to get a rental vehicle to go back to Indiana. I had to return it Saturday by noon. I get back here about 10.30. My cell phone's not working, I'm like, what the heck? And then it dawned on me, oh, the AT&T building just got hit and our service is down. I'm an AT&T subscriber, so I had no service on my personal phone or my business phone. So I had to walk about a mile and a half just to go from the enterprise down to somewhere that had a free Wi-Fi connection that I could connect to to get an Uber just to get home. Oh my gosh, the craziest thing, but I made it through. And like I said, I'm here, you're here, and so thankful for that and over the summer i kept in touch with my good friend ivan and in october he was like yo paul the fifth man i've been doing these youtube videos and i started going to the gun range and i think that was the first video that he posted and now it's got something like 2,000 views which is amazing for being out for just two months and he's like yo man i need some music can you hook me up i was like yeah man i got you so I sent him about three songs. He's like, I'm using those for my videos. And I'm like, cool. So if you ever check out any of his videos, my music's playing. So I'm gonna post those in the description so you can check them out, his content and my music. I am working on getting a website put together so I can showcase my music, my portfolio of some of the many artists I've worked with over the last three years. Ivan was like, man, you gotta get your YouTube channel going too. And as I said, I worked from March until about October. I had no YouTube media presence. So I started putting stuff out left and right. I think I've done like 20 videos since Halloween. And I just love it. And I thank you to everybody that has subscribed. The iPad giveaway is still going on. Keep in mind that it's local to the US. Make sure you do those five things. Those are in the description on that video. It's still live until January 13th. If we don't hit the thousand subs by then, we'll extend it another two weeks. If we don't hit the subs by then, we'll keep it open until I hit the thousand subs. Tell your friends, tell your mammy, tell your cousins, tell everybody you know, hey, check out this dude, Paul the Fifth. He's funny, he's got great content, and he's encouraging and inspiring. If you do that for me, if you smash that subscribe button, give me the thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you know what I'm up to. I would appreciate that. You will appreciate it too. Also, this year I've been able to work and save up. I haven't been able to purchase the house, but this computer did shut down and crap out on me. This is my new M1 MacBook Pro and I got my new monitor and the Mac Mini is hooked up as well. I've been able to get all that stuff and more this year, so I've been very blessed financially to invest in my dream. I hope that you and your family have not been affected by the COVID situation this year at all. If you have, my thoughts and my prayers are with you. It's a struggle for everyone but don't give up, 2021 is tomorrow. New things are coming. The pandemic isn't over yet, but we are working through things. Some places around the world have conquered and beat this. Here in the US, we're working on that. As always, this year has been tough. I've seen many blessings. I've been able to overcome a great deal. I've been able to follow my heart and my dream. I'm doing this you're watching. For that, I thank you and appreciate it. And as always, I love you.
continue to keep watching and supporting. It means the world to me. I hope that all your dreams come true next year. And my name is Paul. Yo, the fear.